Good afternoon everyone, this is JB of Let's Gulong Pare and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Tire Philippines. And today's topic is about tire sealants. And uh, this is one of the most popular tire accessory and uh, alternative repair systems for tires in the Philippines right now. Now, <clears throat> um, if you've browsed the internet like the Facebook or YouTube, you'd be able to find a lot of people talking, a lot of vloggers and influencers talking about um, tire sealants. And either they're going to talk about the tire brand they're going to promote or tire sealant brand, promoting them and demonstrating how to use it. But uh, it is, it's a rarity to find a person who's going to talk about the effects of the tire sealants on the tires okay now this is that video okay we're going to talk about the technical behind uh, a tire sealant and what will be the possible effects on the performance of your tires and the components of your tires okay <clears throat> let's start with what is a tire sealant a tire sealant is a substance that seals off any punctures or injuries and prevents air losses so a consumer would still be able to continue the use of their tires okay there are many forms of a tire sealant i've seen in the past um tire brands who embedded who has uh embedded tire sealants inside their ply systems the idea is when if you get punctured it would ooze out and seal off that uh injury okay now in 1989 this person an american steve sigelski came up with the idea of putting the tire sealant inside a canister or a bottle and can be deployed through the tire valve okay this is the more modern format that you'd see about tire sealants if you buy a tire sealant today in the philippines you'd be able to find it inside a canister or a plastic bottle again it is being deployed through the tire valve so so, ano nga ba yung pros and cons and limitations of using uh, the tire sealant? Well, the number for me as a tire technical guy, there's only one pro for this, okay? And um, it is indeed very effective in sealing off um, punctures and uh, injuries. It helps a consumer get out of a very difficult situation, especially pag emergency, where in no um, tire uh, repair tire replacement is accessible at that moment so that's the only pro that i can think of um, as a technical guy and it really helps consumers <clears throat> that's the purpose of it anyway now what are the limitations and cons of using tire sealants okay now depending on what brand and what type of tire sealants you're going to use okay the first issue will be this okay um the 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 two dominant uh, types of tire sealants are glycol and latex the glycol is water based okay um and um and the latex is actually ammonium based okay now for glycol if moisture enters your ply systems um it would eventually oxidize those ply systems and would lead to separation and tire failure rupture of those plies okay will will be the end result um you'd end up purchasing another tire okay now for the latex um it's much more aggressive against rubber it's very corrosive against rubber and steel belts okay again as it corrodes those ply systems it will make them separate and that separation would lead to rupture of your ply systems and again you'll replace your tires so either either way this is the reason that um tire sealants did not work really well with truck tires light truck tires passenger cars and uh, suv tires because of that ply systems there okay um they react um adversely against those um uh, components inside the tire okay now another limitation and cons of the tire sealant is uh the size of the injury so um it can only be as effective within four millimeters of um diameter of the injury if it's beyond four millimeters um 
the tire sealant will not be as effective I, I guess this is dependent on the brand and also dependent on how much tire sealant you're going to put inside your tire but as we did the experiment um, uh, more than four millimeters will not be uh, covered effectively by a tire sealant okay another limitation is the location of the injury now you can see in the background this is a motorcycle tire okay the injury is located on the sidewall okay it, um the very peculiarity of the sidewall the dynamics of the sidewall is it as you continue to use your tire it flexes a lot so it either aggravates or increases the size of the injury and this movement this constant movement of the sidewall or the flexing just like this makes it hard for a tire sealant to settle in and cover that injury okay in this example that i'm showing right now according to the to the consumer this is only a very small cut but as it progresses it uh, it aggravate it increases in size and the tire sealant wasn't effective in covering that so he end up uh, he ended up um, deploying a gum plug just like that as a alternative to cover that um, injury okay now another limitation in terms of the position of injury is the shoulder Okay, for those who don't know what is the shoulder, the shoulder is where the sidewall of your tire and the tread meets. Okay, this is the hottest part of your tire. Okay, with that said, because of that high temperature in that location, um, it can change the properties of your tire sealant and it will not be as effective in covering or uh, sealing off any injuries in that location. But but to be fair with tire sealants, um, the sidewall and the, and the shoulder of your tire are the most sensitive, even in conventional repairs, just like a sectional repair or, or a cold or a hot patch repair. It's going to be very hard for this type of uh, repair to happen. So it's very sensitive. So again, uh, limitation yeah and even even the sectional repairs um, well there are some good ones who can make it happen I mean uh, I was trained by one of the best and I saw him do a sectional repair on the sidewall and also on the shoulder but it would take a lot of expertise and good equipment to pull that off and the tire sealant can't do it okay now Another limitation in cons of using the tire sealant is uh, the after effects, okay? When I say the after effects, as you can see here um, in the background, this is how it looks like, okay, after it dries up, okay? It's, if it, when, 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 when your tire sealant dries up, it's not going to be as effective anymore. Usually on the average, it dries up up to 10 to 15,000 kilometers. This is why it's very effective for motorcycle tires because that's the life expectancy of a motorcycle tire, usually at around 15,000 to 20,000 kilometers. So effective, we should done. However, when it comes to um, to the passenger car tires, okay, SUV tires, van tires, light trucks, and uh, truck and bus tires, uh, we're in life. The tire life is quite longer than 15 or 20,000 kilometers. If it dries up, it's not effective anymore and it brittles out. So those um, punctures that were sealed before will, can now be open or will now open and leak out some air. So that's the limitation of it. Now, um, <clears throat> Isapa is, um, again, going back to what you will see in the background, as it dries up um, it's going to be very difficult for a tire repairman to look at those um, injuries okay as a tire guy as an expert tire guy whenever I see injuries bunch up within one quadrant like two to three times okay if, if you have two to three repairs in one quadrant of your tire I immediately advise the consumer to replace it and uh, do not attempt to repair it again okay because the cables are compromised already 
with dire sealants you won't be able to tell that because everything is covered and you don't know if there are broken cables that you need to be uh, reinforcing again so it's not safe anymore um again guys please understand tire sealants are temporary repairs only and they're not meant to be used as permanent alternative repairs okay okay not like a sectional patch not like a sectional repair these are temporary repairs only the last issue that i have for a a um a tire sealant is it clogs uh the tire valve as it clogs the tire valve uh you you're going to be um having a hard time you're, you're going to have a hard time inflating and reinflating again in uh, in uh, this is very sensitive for you as a consumer you need correct pressure for you to operate uh, your tires again safely okay i hope you guys learned from this video and um for you for if you want to know more about um tire technicals and tire safety tips please uh, like and subscribe to my youtube channel dr tire philippines and i also have a facebook page let's go long pare kalaman tungkol sa gulong by dr tire ph i'll see you again next time bye